Yep, what's going on YouTube? This is the one and only Showtime the Czar, the flyest vlogger on the planet. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in once again. Got that hip hop news, cultural updates, and all that good stuff for you guys today. You know what you got to do for me, real quick, though? See that subscribe button on your screen. I need you to click that, turn that bell icon on so that you're right notified each and every time one of my videos drop. Now, let's get into today's news and topics. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to discuss with you guys today is the long-awaited versus battle between Keisha Cole and Ashanti finally took place last night. Now, after it being canceled twice and Keisha Cole being an hour and 15 minutes late to her venue spot, the battle took place. And I got to say that uh, Ashanti really surprised me. Now, initially, I had picked Keisha Cole to win the battle. I just thought she had more hits. And... Ashanti hung in there though. She hung in there all the way to the end. Now she did exactly what I thought she was gonna do. Play up a lot of songs that we didn't know or I didn't know, but a lot of people didn't know uh, some some of the songs that she played. Also, she played a lot of features, which I thought she was gonna do as well. But she hung in there, and then when I say she hung in there, it didn't feel like she got swept. Now I don't want to say Keisha Cole won or Ashanti won because personally, after watching the battle i feel like that's a woman's job mainly because i don't know the impact of those hits that they played i can't say if foolish is a better record than uh, love or uh i should have cheated you know what i mean like i don't know the impact of them songs i'm not a female like only reason i heard them was because they got played on the radio 400 times a day and then they got played another 300 times on BET. So to me, I just heard the songs a lot. And when I hear them a lot like that, it's a hit. So for me, like I wasn't able to go to a club at the time these records came out. Like I was only in seventh, eighth grade at the time. And I know they weren't playing those songs at seventh, eighth grade parties or 10th grade parties whenever those songs came out. And I never been to a Keisha Cole or a Shanti concert, even though now I would like to see both of them ladies in concert. But I don't know how those songs impacted concerts when they got played and all that kind of stuff. So I would imagine people went crazy when a lot of those records were played, but I wasn't there. So I feel like ladies listen to these songs the most. So I feel like this is the time for a lady to express how she feels. And ladies, let me know who you think one in the comments, Keisha Cole or Ashanti. But I feel like ladies get in their car and they play Keisha Cole and they play Ashanti when they hurt or, you know what I'm saying? Just when they feel good, whatever the case may be. But I feel like overall, this was a ladies thing and they need to express their opinion i don't think mine is very is worth very much in this situation i'll never get in my car and play none of this stuff so let me know what you ladies think in the comments below do you think he should call one or do you think it's to one let me know all right guys on to the next subject here so danny lay is facing some backlash because of a snippet of a song yellow bone that she posted on social media here is a snippet take a listen yellow bone is what he loves what he loves now social media is calling her a colorist because they feel like she's basically saying that light-skinned women or people are better than dark skin brown skin etc here's my thing with it uh, first of all, the song is just super whack to me. Uh, I just don't like it at all. It's not catchy. I don't like lyrics. It's just not it. All right. You need to just scrap that one and start over. Uh, now, as far as her messaging in this song or whatever, I don't feel like she's saying light skin is better. I just feel like she's saying that that's what her man prefers is a light skin person or a yellow bone person. I don't. I think people reaching with this one. Uh, I know that we live in sensitive times, but again, this is one of those times I feel like people are reaching with this one. But let me know what you guys think if you like the song or let me know what you guys think. Is she being colorist at all in the comments below? All right, guys. And the last thing I want to discuss with you guys today before I get up out of here. So the NBA is considering having not only the players, but the entire team staff take the COVID-19 vaccine. Now, obviously, this is causing a lot of controversy because there are people who are anti-vaccine, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I was watching on Inside the NBA, and I believe it was Charles Barkley that was making a statement in regards to the best way to keep the numbers down is to only is to basically not play basketball. So to me, it's going to eventually come down to either 
not playing basketball or taking a vaccine and that's going to be a very sticky situation because like i said a lot of people are anti-vaccine on top of that it's a lot of black people in the nba and i don't know what the side effects of the vaccine are and the, it's still in the beginning stages of it and it's a lot of things that could go wrong with that and i don't know how i feel about that now there's only been a few games canceled so far so i guess we can say so far so good it hasn't been a lot of games canceled but still with the players going to a lot of cities and all that type of stuff again there's no fans in the stadium so i just i don't know how i feel about this let me know how you guys feel about that should the players be taking the vaccine or should they just cancel basketball altogether and wait till the coronavirus numbers are way way down let me know what you guys think in the comments but that's all i got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment share subscribe and until next time i'm out of here y'all peace